Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, we are going to learn dividing objects into equal groups in class 2. This is one of the topic under division, which is the mathematical operation on numbers. The first sum that we are going to see is divide 4 by 2, which means that 4 objects have to be equally divided into two groups. Let us see how we are going to do that. Here we have four rectangular objects and we have two groups. Now we have to split these four objects equally into two groups. Let us do it step by step. First take two objects because we are going to divide four by two. So take two objects and put one each in the two groups. Take two objects, put one each in the two groups. Then again, take two more objects and put one each in the two groups. Take two more objects and put one each in the two groups. So next, what is that we have? After you have taken out all the objects, there should be equal number of objects in each group. How many objects do we have in each group now? There are two objects in each group. What does this mean? 4 divided by 2 equals 2. That is 4 objects when equally divided into two groups. Each group has two objects. Let us do more examples to understand the concept of dividing objects into equal groups. Let us see the next example. Divide 6 by 3. What does this mean? 6 objects have to be equally divided into 3 groups. So here we have 6 rectangular objects and 3 groups. Let us first begin by taking 3 objects and putting 1 each in the 3 groups. Why are we taking 3 objects? Because we'll have to divide 6 by 3. So take 3 objects and put 1 each in the 3 groups. Then once again, take 3 more objects and put 1 each in the 3 groups. Take 3 more objects and put 1 each in the 3 groups. So after you have taken out all the objects, there should be equal number of objects in each group. How many objects do we have in each group? There are two objects in each group, which means that 6 when divided equally into 3 groups, you get the answer to be 2. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Let us do the next example now. Divide 12 by 4, which means 12 objects have to be equally divided into 4 groups. Here we have 12 square objects and 4 groups. What is the first step? First we will have to take out 4 objects because we are going to divide by 4. So take 4 objects and we have 4 groups. Put 1 each in the 4 groups. 1, 1, 1, 1. I have put 1 each in the 4 groups. Next step is to take 4 more objects and put 1 each in the 4 groups. Take 4 more objects and put 1 each in the 4 groups. With that, is it over? No, we do have 4 more objects. Take them and put 1 each in the 4 groups. You have to keep repeating this and after you have taken out all the objects, there should be equal number of objects in each group. In this case, we have 3 objects in each group, which means that 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Hope you have understood so far. Stay with me till the end of this video as we are going to do many more such sums to understand the concept of dividing objects into equal groups. The next sum that we are going to do is divide 10 by 5. That is divide 10 objects equally into 5 groups. Here we have 10 square objects and 5 groups. What is the first step? As we have to divide by 5, Take 5 objects and put 1 each in the 5 groups. Take 5 objects, 
put one each in the five groups the next step is to take the remaining five more objects and put one each in the five groups take the five more objects and put one each in the five groups so after you have taken out all the objects there should be equal number of objects in each group how many objects are there in each group now there are two objects in each group so when 10 is divided equally into five groups you get the answer to be 2 10 divided by 5 equals 2 the next sum that we are going to do is divide 9 by 3 9 objects have to be equally divided into three groups here we have nine triangles we have to equally divide them into three groups so what is the first step take three objects and put one each in the three groups take three triangles and put one each in the three groups next repeat take three more objects and put one each in the three groups take three more objects and put one each in the three groups is it over with that no we do have three more objects so take those three objects and put one each in the three groups after you have taken out all the objects there should be equal number of objects in each group so how many objects do we have in each group now we have three objects in each group which means that nine divided by three equals three that is nine objects when it is equally divided into three groups each group has three objects the next sum that we are going to see is divide eight by two eight objects have to be equally divided into two groups so here we have eight triangles and two groups first step is to take two objects because we have to divide eight by two so take two objects and put one each in the two groups then once again take the next two objects and put one each in the two groups again still we have four more objects so we have to repeat the process take two more objects put one each in the two groups and once again take two more objects and put one each in the two groups with that we have taken out all the objects after you have taken out all the objects that should be equal number of objects in each group do we have equal number of objects in both the groups yes we have four objects in each group which means that eight divided by two equals four the next sum that we are going to see is divide ten by two ten objects have to be equally divided into two groups here we have ten marbles and we have two groups first step is to take two objects and put one each in the two groups take two objects put one each in the two group repeat the same step take two more objects and put one each in the two groups we have to keep repeating the process till all the objects are over so i've taken the next two objects and i'm going to put one each in the two groups take the next two objects put one each in the two groups and take the last two objects and put one each in the two groups and check you have if you have equal number of objects in both the groups yes after you have taken out all the objects there should be equal number of objects in each group in this case we have five objects in each group which means that 10 divided by 2 equals 5 the next sum that we are going to see is divide 18 by 3 so we have to split 18 objects equally into three groups let us see how we are going to do that now here we have 18 marbles and three groups what is the first step first step is to take out three objects and put one each in the three groups next take out the next three objects and put one each in the three groups we have to keep repeating the process here we have many marbles left take the next three objects put one each in the three groups take the next set of three objects and put one each in group one group two and group three next take the next set of three objects put one each in the three groups and the last set of three objects has to be taken and put 
one each in the three groups. So after you have taken out all the objects, there should be equal number of objects in each group. Let us count how many objects are there in each of these group now. There are six objects in each group, which means that when 18 is equally divided into three groups, each group will have six objects. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 2 under the topic division for the children of which I have covered the first topic introduction to division. What is division in a separate video? In this video, we saw the concept of dividing objects into equal groups. Next, we will do a division worksheet video in which we will be covering both the concepts which we have covered in separate videos as activities. As each of these topics are covered in separate videos, links to all the related videos are given below in the description box for your quick and easy access. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the quality of my video, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.